Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I am talking about Creed 2, directed by Stephen Cappell Jr. An actor starring in it, Michael B. Jordan, Tessa Thompson, Sylvester Stallone, Felicia Rashad, um, Florian Mont Montano, um, Dolph Lundgren, and many, many others to the cast. Now here we have, this is, um, this is, um, Adonis. He's the heavyweight champion of the world. Everything is going good. And then you have... Um, Drago's son coming up in the ranks and he wants to prove himself by beating Adonis because his father killed his dad and so and, and, and because his father lost the rest alone it kind of messed up their lives in Russia he lost their status they lost everything he lost his wife he they lost it all he lost it all and so he wants to prove himself and regain the respect that he had and, and, and the status that he had by facing off against Adonis and then the, and, and so you have you have Adonis who wants to um, set the wrong that happened to with his father and what he, stuff he's dealing with and he wants to prove himself because even though he is the champion he doesn't feel like he has really accomplished anything so he wants to, so he wants to, he wants to face Drago to prove himself. So you got two of these people trying to prove themselves that they are worth the status that they are. Now, not pretty much the, the gist of the movie. Now, before I get into the good, let's start with the bad. The bad part about the movie is, it's predictable. You already know what's going to happen. You really do. If you if you've seen Rocky three and four, you know how this is going to go. So there is no surprises here. There is no shocks. So that's that. Once you once you get an idea of what's going on, you already know how it's gonna what's gonna happen, how it's gonna go down, and how it's gonna end. There is no like I said, no shocks here. That's pretty much the worst part of the movie. But the but the so let's move on to the good. The good part about the movie is, even though you know how it's gonna go down, there also there's always slightly different changes. Like you got you got you have um, uh, Drago, Drago's junior, Drago Drago's son, and. His motivations are different than uh, the, 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 um, the, 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 his father's. Because, see, he's coming from a low place and he's trying to prove not only to himself but to, to, to his country and everything else um, that he deserves to be where, um, where he needs to be. Because, see, they treated them bad after after Drago lost. After he lost, they treated they treated them like crap. And his son got the, got the, got the um, worst of it. And so you got you got this man who's desperate to try to get back to where he was, to get back where he was. And not he's not he's not fighting Rocky. I mean, not fighting Adonis because he's trying to prove that he's the better fighter. He's pretty much fighting him for a more personal and more emotional reason. And when you understand where he's coming from and why he's fighting his, his motivation, you actually feel actually feel kind of sorry for him. You you really do. And this, because usually in, 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 in these Rocky films, you don't really care about the, the, um, the, um, the other guy. Because they're mostly the, the villain of the movie. But he's not really the typical villain. You understand his motivations. You, 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 you see why he is the way he is. And, and, when, and, when, he, and, when, he, um, and when he faces off against Adonis, even though you want Adonis to win, you feel sorry for him because he's never going to get what he always wanted. And that's kind of, and, and, what, and what he wants is not, it's not because, of, it's not status or anything like that. It's, it's more personal and, it, it like, and, you, and you feel bad for him because you know he, he's not going to get it. Like, like, oh, oh, that's so sad. And you have Adonis who's pretty much trying to uh, prove to himself that, um, that, he, de that he deserved the championship that he, that he, that he, uh, he has received. That it was, uh, um, that he, um, he, 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 he can, he didn't get. He didn't get to where he is just because his father was Apollo. And the, the, the relationships are fantastic between Adonis and and his, and his fiance Bianca, and they're having a baby. They're about to start a family. The relationship he has with Rocky and Rocky, and also you're seeing Rocky's relationship he has with his son and his grandson because they, they they're a little bit estranged. You see them ending that together. And this, this whole this whole movie is pretty much about family and relationships and connection. That's that's great. It's very moving, very uplifting. The music choices in here make you feel fantastic. Just like any of these Rocky, like in the Rocky franchise and this whole Creed world, these movies make you feel good. It, it really, it really do. Even though you know how it's going to happen, you know how, how it's going to go down. You always feel fantastic after you watch it. Yes, like you almost like you, like you do anything. Like yes.
Yes. So, overall, great movie, a whole lot of fun. And they give me a great, I'm giving it a solid B+. Don't take my word for it. Go check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you want to enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. If you have already seen it, leave comments down below and let me know what you thought about it. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out for yourself. Check it out for yourself. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it like I always say in my dreams and my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.